Oh yeah, we should build it. We should build a town. No, actually, we shouldn't build a town. We should go there and see what's up. Two months until the curse. That's fine. We also got a quest in Varnhold. Yeah, I don't want to start curse research because it could it could screw me over with events. Right now we go. Because we didn't get like weapons here, do we? This is fine, this is fine. I guess I do wanna go look at the uh look at the This village here. Tatsel port. Twenty hour twenty one hours, okay. We're gonna have to rest in the middle there. Or maybe not. Oh, that's surprising. No one got fatigued. Oh. Citizen, citizen, citizen. I'm there. Trader. Mr. Trey the man. Do you have anything cool? Uh not really no. He does have the breastplate of the afterlife, that's interesting. Hmm. Also the paragon of winter? I'm a little bit confused. Does the trader here have stuff that I sell to, to some of the other traders? Okay, who am I supposed to talk to? We have to visit the settlement, so we have to look here somewhere. Kimo? Sharel. Okay. I think there is enough space to actually build two workshops, so it's not a big problem. Who are you? Before you is a tall, pale elf. The soft picture of his, uh, features of his face sharply contrasting his angular figure. But his woeful gaze is fixed on the ground. He finally notices you and startled, blinks at you absent-mindedly. He talks slowly, slightly elongating his words as he speaks. Good day. Who are you? Kimo. Kimo Tavern. With a wide smile, the elf slowly nods at you. That's an odd name for an elf. Ah, uh, the elf shrugs. My parents named me Kimio, but my friends decided that name didn't suit me so well. What you doing here? He blushes so ever so slightly and lowers his gaze. Are oh, you? Yeah. I can tell you, it's a secret. Okay. Although, if you promise. He looks at you with hopes and hope in his eyes. If you promise to help me, then I will tell you. What kind of help do you need? That's. That is a secret. After some hesitation, the elf decided to add. But it's not hard. Not at all. You have my words. Mm-hmm. And what do I get if I help you? Hmm, in that case, I, uh, I'll give you my spear. I can make a lot of handy things out of woods. You can call me a woodworker in your tongue. Okay, sure. Wonderful. You just keep smiling. 
Just, just be silent. Okay, you still haven't told me what you want. Oh, right. Nunok, the hunter, told me that he saw an incredibly beautiful flower growing in the swamp. I would go and pick it myself, but I fear I would become lost. Also, there's monsters there. So, will you help me? I mean, yeah. Perfect. Come back as soon as you can. Okay. Bye! What about Cheryl? I'm innocent. A mistake, terrible mistake. I haven't taken anything from anyone. That's exactly what anyone says. Everyone. Every prisoner says they're innocent if you ask them. Young half-elf looks up at you, exhausted. Somebody has recently given him a black eye. There's panning in his voice. I oh, beg you, help me, I haven't done anything wrong. What's going on here? Greetings, old race. I apologize for the noise. Our captain thought it would be a good to make an example of this criminal. Keep the public in line, you know. This one turned out to be a little noisy. Your half-elf looks shocked and terrified by this, by his circumstance. You're the local ruler, aren't you? I beg you for them, your mercy. I have been arrested as a thief, but I'm about to go and I'm about to go to jail, but I haven't done anything wrong. I've never taken anything that wasn't mine. Someone slandered me for stealing property from a merchant in the capital. We had a deal. He promised me he promised to lend me money for a new workshop, but I didn't take a single coin. It's a lie. I beg you, please, nobody believes me. The merchant's name is Asuf. He would help me. If only he knew I was in trouble. Please stop the merchant of the capital. He will confirm I'm innocent. Okay, what's he charged with? Theft, your grace. We chased him all the way out here from the capital. Stole something from a merchant and escaped. Uh, just another scoundrel, your grace. Never mind him. They're all the same. He was found out. So now he's healing. About being innocent. Okay, I gotta go. So we have to do quests before we do, uh, before we get workshops. That's fine. Now. Flower in the swamp. It's all the way down here? Okay. Another 21 hours. This time we are gonna have to rest in between somewhere. Oh, something happened. Now, it wasn't a finished event. A new event. Magister asks for an audience. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because we have 20 arcane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we are going down anyway. I need to catch my breath. I'm hungry. When we stop... I am amazed by your inexhaustible energy. It seems strange you can be so joyful after everything. Always for Tavia. And you're always sullen and pouting, no. Harem. Smile a little. If we do die at some point, I'd prefer to be buried with a smile on my face, not with a glum frown. Yeah, you tell him, Lindsay. Fifteen hours of hunting, and then another eight hours of resting. Hmm. Well, we're supposed to talk to a dude here. Hassop, yes, it was Hassop. Hassop, do you confirm the innocence of that other dude? Hassop of Absalom is happy to welcome you, Your Grace. Come, take a look at the best wares which traveling merchants have to offer. Please, come, take a look. 
Yeah, the guards were told that a half-elf named Sherrell robbed you, is that true? Sherrell? Robbed? Can't be. He's a great young man. And a capable tailor. We agreed I would lend him money to start a shop at a humble rate of interest, but he didn't steal a single coin from me. I can vouch for him. Give me a moment. He pulls out a sheet of paper and scrolls a short letter as his sprawling signature and then hands the letter to you. Uh, I don't have anything to sell, do I? Nature's will. But wait, that's a short sword. Vermin bane, finesse welding. Uh -huh. Maybe we can give it. You know what? It's a light weapon, yeah. We can give it to knock knock. Knock knock. Knock 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 the same thing. So that's 14, 16, that's... wait. How is this 14, 16? What makes this weapon so strong for him? Plus 13. Oh, because it's not agile. No, wait. Still finesse wielding. It's a plus 5. Why do you get plus. Where do you get the plus 5 from? I'm guessing that uh, some of his class abilities, probably the uh, blade sense. Nest training cookery. Whenever the rogue makes a successful melee attack with a cookery, she adds her dexterity modifier instead of her strength modifier to the damage roll. If any effect would prevent the rogue from adding her strength modifier, she does not add her dexterity modifier. Ah, so that's why. That's the reason. So it would make... Okay, I see, I see. So this is Loki because it's agile. This is not agile. So it doesn't get the strength. This isn't agile, but because Knock Knock has the finesse training, it basically works as if it has agile. Okay. I see. I understand. He's still gonna get it, just later. Because next level, when he levels up, he is gonna get another one of these finesse trainings. So I think a short sword would actually be useful here. We should probably be able to choose it. Let's go talk with Octavia. We're not going to be doing any any long-term events. Because we do want to go to Varnhold. Actually, I kind of wonder... It's going to be a city, isn't it? Would it make sense to buy... If, if there is one, to buy a bag of holding? We kind of don't need them that much. Octavia grins from ear to ear. Your baron attracts the most unusual and interesting characters. They must have heard the rumours of your that your country is a place where one can live without chains and restrictions. Not long ago, I was visited by an appraiser of magical items, a rare and sought after profession in many countries. This man proposed that he settle in our lands and open his own store. I agreed then and there. Why can't we be as good as Absalom? Uh, right? In tribute. He offered his young ruler a valuable gift, but he didn't dare select a specific item for you. Instead, he simply invites you to choose from all the finest things he keeps in his best storerooms. She hands you a small list, written on a piece of parchment in ornate handwriting. We'd best not be greedy and choose just one item. I wish to control weather and luck. Divine Arcane. Wind of Dominate Animal, Headband of Alluring Charisma. 
Okay, this is something that we won't we would want. Because we could give Lindsay this. We could give Lindsay the headband of Charisma. What's this, though? Because these are items. This doesn't tell me an item. It just tells me that I'm getting some Divine and Arcane. But I feel like... Maybe it's worth it? The game did also say when we went here. So, does this unlock a... No, it doesn't unlock a, a project. So I think we're gonna quick load them. Cause as nice as the uh, as nice as having just one of each there is, I think it would be nice if he had the bonus charisma. Wait, this is, this is, yeah? So we haven't talked to this dude yet. Okay. I wonder if someone else was the, uh... The... What's the, uh... What's the vizier? What's her, what's her position again? Whatever. Headband of a Lord and Charisma. Great, I will express your gratitude to the appraiser. Yeah, whatever, it's fine. I wonder if we could actually do something different with these. Yeah, Arcane plus one. Project, we can start this project, that's fine. The Magister, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can get one more because we still haven't unlocked espionage. We can only do it when we get our relations to four. Oh, hey, what's up? Raleen. Greetings, Your Grace. Allow me to pay my respects and deliver a gift on behalf of my master, a well-known connoisseur of magical artifacts, kindly welcomed by you in the capital. Let me introduce myself. Ah, uh, Arlene Greyridge, at your service. The girl bows briefly and springs back up. She casts curious, starting glances across the throne room and holds out a package. This is a modest gift from my master, Your Grace. May it serve you well, and in case you're looking for more... I beg you to forgive my docility, but since Destiny is giving me opportunity to speak with you face to face, you see, my master is a highly educated and respected specialist, but unfortunately, he has no business acumen whatsoever. For my part, as much as I appreciate collectible items of great aesthetic value, I'm far more interested in turning my knowledge in this sphere towards tangible profit. If you take an interest in, in, interest in obtaining magical items without all this hassle, I could arrange it. Okay, tell me more about this opera. You see, over all my years of travel, I've built up a long list of contacts across Golarion. In other words, I can acquire magical rarities, no matter the distance or difficulty. If you kindly help me open my own shop, I'll gladly quit my master and use my talents for your benefit. I mean, that's a good idea. And obviously, it's not smuggling. It's not smuggling if she opens up a shop and it's legal. Yeah, sure. Oh, thank you. May your reign last for years to come. She, she bows. I dare not distract you any longer, Your Grace. So, are you going to tell me to, to build a workshop? Okay, let's actually go build a workshop then. I'm guessing I have to build it in the uh, in the capital. I think I still have some free slots here. Mm, yeah, we have five slots free. 
Arlene's magical reality shop. Adjacent to a tavern or a longhouse? Well, we don't have a tavern. I mean, tavern is here. Can I move you? No. Adjacent to a shop. I think what I should do is delete the smithy, delete the bulletin board, put the rarity shop here, put the smithy here, and put the bulletin board here, I guess. I wish I could just move it, but that's fine. So that's going to be plus two economy. Unless it only works in one. Oh, I should look at the other stuff. Okay, okay. Smithy. Oh yeah, we can also do a library. Do we have a shrine here? No, the shrine is here. Nah, I think it's just worth it to build it somewhere. Smithy. And the bulletin board. This is perfect. So in, uh, in a few days this is gonna be built. Uh... Oh yeah, I wanted to see... How much am I getting here? I'm getting 7 divine. So if we take a look here. Longhouse gives me 1. Shrine. Gives. Okay, so the, the thing here. Yeah. So a, sh a shrine only gets 1 bonus. Shrine only gets but a bonus from a single monument. So we do have seven divine here. Do we have some ar arcane? I don't think we can build any arcane stuff in this. Okay, um. Do we see when it's gonna be done? 14 days, okay. Okay. Lauren the Swamp. Confirmation of Innocence. Yeah. So I need to go... We need to go for the flower. Just a sec though. Um, game, where did you put the thing? Did, it, did you put it in my stash? Okay, so it dates from oldest to newest. But it actually doesn't do it that way. It does it by type first and then oldest to newest. Not even that. Yeah, because... Okay, that, that's really strange that I didn't put it in my inventory and put it there. What's this? Two deflection to AC, resistance to all saving throws, and the spell resistance. That's pretty nice. I just have a regular ring, but so I mean. Okay, does anyone need two points of deflection? 
you can get some deflection. Now, you're gonna get, you're gonna get this. You're gonna lose the points there, but. Uh, We're gonna get a top hat. <laughs> a top hat barbarian. We can take this, whatever. At least Lindsay is more useful now. As a as an advisor. Oh wait, just a second. So is the thing that I got from uh, Bokken here then? Because I got some oils. I kind of want to figure what what the oils do. Usable. No, there's no usables here. Okay, so uh, so I have. Yeah, that's that's a little bit confusing. Date from oldest to newest. Okay, so acid oil. Adds 1d6 acid damage to a weapon, making it corrosive. It's only one charge, and it's for 7 minutes. Okay. Oil of Enhancement. Grants a plus 2 temporary enhancement to a chosen weapon for 7 minutes. Actually, that's a pretty nice thing. So, I see. I thought I could use an alchemist fire as, a, as an oil, but no, that's not the case. What's a runic mage blade again? Oh, okay. A, a runic mage blade would be something that's useful for uh, for Ragonga. If you have a spell touched, touch spell charge, the weapon's enhancement bonus is a plus two better than its actual bonus. Still don't understand what what this means exactly. If I have a touch spell charged. I have lots of touch spells charged, because technically, uh, Lay on Hands is a touch, but it's not a spell. This is a touch spell, but I don't think that works that way. I think it has to be like a... I think it has to be like a... Like touch cantrip of some sort, maybe like vampiric touch or some sort of item. No, oh, doesn't matter that much. Uh, we good here, aren't we? We good. Let's go look for that flower. Upgrade another village. How many... I, I have to upgrade enough stats of my my kingdom in order to be able to upgrade another village. If I do upgrade though, I think I'm gonna want to upgrade this village here. Because we got weapon making people. Uh, I wish I could zoom a little bit more. Also, it would be nice to explore a little bit here, but this is not part of my kingdom, is it? Yeah, it's not. I think I should also get some like culture here and uh, arcane here. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do this stuff, but it's only like these two things here, yeah. Looks like it. Maybe there's something here, but uh, we're gonna have to take a look here. Okay. Come on, Swamp Witch. Oh, there's something happening. There's something going on. Mental Dexterity. There's a gang of petty illusionists in the lands of a baron. They're passing off copper uh, coins as golden ones. This fraud must be stopped. It could be Jubilos, but I'm not sure what the red color here means. I think the red color here means that he would actually make these guys work for me. So we would get a penalty to some other stats. So I think we want to do this. Octavia, 14 days, start event. This is the reason why we didn't... This is the reason why we didn't go and uh, 
have Octavia research curses right now. Sure. Kill the people who want to ambush me, because... Oh, it's the, uh, it's the skeletal salesman. Hey, do you have something new to sell? Like, I did, uh, I did main quests. Do you have anything cool? Not really, no. He doesn't have anything new. It's kind of a shame, to be honest. I wonder if we can actually meet his master. Because he did tell me that his master is a uh, Dracolich. Kind of a shame that there's no passing here. Okay, we can rest, it's fine. What kind of goblin princess? There's, there was no goblin prince. I have the slightest idea how the goblins tamed them. Where did they get the sense to do it? One can only imagine it was some sort of divine intervention. Oh, we we screwed up the meal. Okay, where's the flower going to be? If I was looking for a flower, I think I would go talk to a dryad or a nymph of some sort. Actually... I mean, yeah, 200 carrying capacity is pretty nice. Yeah, we should probably go to the rest here. It's one big bunny rabbit. Oi! Oh! Elga Vernix is back. She lives in a house outside the village. Is that so? That's welcome news. Why, oh, why didn't she visit? Did she really forget me? Oh, so much time wasted. It's unfortunate her father didn't live to see this day. Oh, but uh, he left a letter for her. Where is it? Oh, just a moment. After several moments of rummaging inside of her tray, the dryad brings forth a small roll of parchment. Yeah, please give her this. Her father, her father's last words to her. And tell her to visit me. I would so love to see her again. We didn't get any item, though. Also, I'm not seeing any, uh, any flower. Oh, yeah, we did get the thing. This requires your attention. Oh? I mean, she has to roll a six. That was easy. Repent. I guess this is where the flower is. These dudes are eight. Level 18, okay. Okay, um, I'm, I'm fine dying here. Could be worse, and will be, definitely will be. Lost. I can't keep this up much longer. Avenge me. Uh, 
It's totally not something I expected in any way. Do you have hold monster? Let's hold person. Let's do hold monster on this dude. No, no, no. Was he held? I always survive. Okay, seems like it succeeded. Not sure. It's for 60 seconds? Perfect. Still sneak story. attacks, though. That's good. Uh, still hold monster, please. It passed its check. Well, hmm. This is not something I I expected, but this guy's almost dead, so. Protect me, please. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, it died. Okay. Three level 18 enemies. Oh. I kind of so didn't expect I something like that. I'm always ready. Serves you right. That's probably the flower, yeah. A rare bog flower. Okay. Dueling sword. Swordsman's passion. Agile, finesse building, one handed weapon. I mean that's nice if only if only we were more agility inclined. Okay. Done. Level 18 though, that that feels kind of unfair. Why am I fighting level 18 enemies? I'm only level 10. Am I going to be... Because the max level is, what, 20, right? Am I going to be fighting, like, level 30 enemies? When I'm level 20? I hope not. I, f I hope it's just the game being made in a way to make me feel stronger and stronger and stronger. Mission is stick. Okay. Uh, a dry... Yeah. You again? Hmm. I'd offer you tea, but I don't have any. How about a cup of death, Captain Chun's head? Best thing for health. Yeah, sure. Uh, I have you a letter. A dry named Theresia remembers you and would be glad to see you again. She asked me to give you this letter. Elga opens the letter. Runs her eyes over it, and her expression shifts. It could be either a smile or a grimace. So that's how it is. Well, what does it matter now? She gives a rattling sigh. Oh, Theresia. I should visit her someday. Yes. Do you have anything to, to trade? Something nice? Mm, not really, no. Okay, we got the two things we needed to uh to get stuff from the northern norm marshes. Uh, yeah, I do want to go here first though. Because maybe there's a there's something cool here, and maybe there's some resources we could claim. I need 
to catch my breath. I mean, it's fine if you rest here, that's okay. Your religion is insane. How could you pray to someone who wants to kill us all? Oh, he doesn't want to kill you all. Grotus does not want anything. This pathetic world will come to an end one way or another. Yeah. My God just patiently waits for that day. His path is patience and humility in the face of the inevitable. Yeah, Valerie just totally misunderstood what, uh, what Grotus is. We want to get here. I'm gonna claim this because I mean, two arcane is pretty nice. Not sure why it tells me about. Hey, you can claim stuff. Did you know? This is claims. This is not claimed. It gives me some culture. Enter. We are also going to be able to build the two workshops. Um, first of all, you, Sharao. I brought confirmation of his innocence from Hasof. All accusations of theft are false. It's good that it's a lawful good option. So that's how it's going to be. Pardon me, your grace, but better safe than sorry. Yeah, let's set you free there, lads. Be careful now, you should keep your eyes peeled with enemies like yours. Where's hope in the half old's eyes, and his voice trembles with awe. You, uh, you really did it, for me. I've never seen anyone so honourable. My name is Jarrell, your grace. I'm pleased to meet you. If there's any way I can repay you... Oh wait, do you need the services of a good tailor? Trust me, I can work wonders with a needle and a thread. It's only you. Uh... He stops. I can't afford a workshop of my own. If I could find a workplace, even one out here, I don't feel like returning to the capital after all that's happened. Please, let me help set up a workshop. Help me set up a workshop. If you're in need of decent tailored cloth, I'll make it worth your while. May the gods protect you. Okay, and chemo. Kimo, you sent me you sent me to a very dangerous place. Is this the flower you were looking for? It's it is beautiful. The elf reverently accepts the flower from your hands. I thank you. You have helped me so much. Here, take my spear. My skill is nothing compared to the beauty of nature. Well who knows? Perhaps you will find it useful. Tell me, friend, is there a place where I could settle in? I do not wish to leave this place. I mean, if you agree to work for for me, I'm going to build your workshop here. You, you would really do that for me? The elf's mouth opens in amazement. Well, if you're offering this to me, then I gladly accept. It's a deal. Okay. Bye. What's inside here? Nothing. Okay. Okay, let's build those two more. Uh, Workshops. Now then. It says it doesn't tell me that I have a quest or something to do it. Let's see. Shadow sewing shop. Economy with adjacent to a tavern or longhouse. Well, it is going to be adjacent to a longhouse. Economy when adjacent to a shop. We're going to. Uh. Oh! 
because this is a different town. This, there's six slots here, two slots here, one slot here, one slot here. It's a wooden wall, it's a wooden wall. Windmill is one of these two. Huh. Okay. That's a shame. Because we're not going to get the bonus, the bonus, uh, here. At least we're going to get the bonus here. This, and um, where's the other? Kimiel's shop. I want to put it in any of these two places, or whatever. And since I have enough, let's build another wooden wall here, why not? Do we wanna? Actually, wait. Does it does it count? Does a regular shop does an artisan shop work the same way as a regular shop? Maybe? It only this one only gets a bonus from a tavern. This one tavern or a longhouse. Hey, okay, whatever, it's fine. Can actually look at you. We could have raped, but no, we need this to be a a town. Complete the relevant pro on the project. Uh, once the upgrade is complete, the number of slots on the settlement will increase to twenty. Every three villages acquired in your domain it will enable you to upgrade one of them. To the town level, provided that six or more slots are occupied in that village. Oh, so right now, how many towns do we have? Settlements one, two, three, four. So I need to claim two more regions and build two more towns, two more villages, and then I'm gonna be able to upgrade the town. That doesn't feel right, because... Let's, uh, a total, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14. 13, 14. I mean, I, I'm guessing we can get all of these things here. So maybe we're going to be able to conquer the tax. So that would mean we can only upgrade uh, four villages into towns. Hmm. Okay, we do want to claim this, however. Knights of Avistan. I hope we can do some good in the world like they did. We just seem so... I don't know. We are not the heroes I imagine the Arch Knights to have been. I mean, obviously. Don't be sad just because we don't measure up to some book. Even if it was based on real people, I am sure they didn't always agree. Don't focus on what we struggle with. Write your story about what we do well. Oh, that's a good advice. It's perfect advice. I also kind of want to see if there's anything to claim here. Sure, fight enemies. Banded Brawler. 
Now these guys are just level... Level 1. Level 1 humans. How much health do you have? 8 hit points. Yeah, none of this is even going to be like... Masterwork. Wait, that was a composite, wasn't it? Okay, we can pick up a composite thing. Destroying mm -hmm. its phylactery won't kill a lich immediately. It's a problem. I really hope we're not going to be fighting too many liches. Playing you. Oh! I thought we could actually go this way. Old Mesa. Hello. <laughs> oh, it's one of these areas, okay. I'm there. There's a spider. Whoa. It's werewolves. Okay. Uh, what level is a werewolf? A level five. A magical breastplate plus one. A ruby. Anything else? Hmm. Just a werewolf. Hello, another corpse. Okay. Oh. Now that I think of it, it kind of sucks because the charisma increasing item is also a headband. So, we either we can make him have the uh, what was it? Precise selective uh, channeling. Where is it? Yeah, either we can give him selective channel, or he would lose the wisdom bonus. Or we can have him be a better... a better... counselor. Now... Since we're safe scumming, kinda, anyway, kinda doesn't matter that much. Let's see. How many days? It's five days. You know what? Yeah, and we're gonna we're gonna start a small project. Because I feel like if if it's five days, we're not gonna be able to. Uh, we're not gonna be able to reliably go to Van Holt and go back. Oh, oh, he gave me a weapon. Give me a weapon. The half walk bows diligently, trying to adhere to etiquette. Your grace are come bearing gifts. Opportunist beast. Exactly, beast. No, opportunist boots. Uh. Just give me a two-handed mace. Why strike with one hand when you can have two, right? What was this? 
Sharao. Oh, good day, Your Grace. I received a curious reminder of my status as court artisan. A few preachers visited my workshop, praising you and your ex and expressing their gratitude for the warm welcome they've received in your lands. After they left, I decided to make a contribution to our common cause. Here's a special gift for you, Your Grace. I hope it will prove useful. We 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 haven't even started doing his uh, workshop. Like it's not finished. Greetings, Your Grace. As you know, I was born in Kyonin, the most wonderful land that has ever existed. And yet, I must say, living in your country is a pleasure for me. The people here seem to be content. They trust you, and trust me as your court craftsman. It's important to know who one's patron is, and how he treats his subjects. It's a fine thing to share in the joy of amusement and amusement. Look, this is my gift to you, Baron. Okay, so I got a rigid oak staff. It's a monk weapon. Gives a plus four morale bonus to constitution, a plus two morale bonus in fortitude saving throws, and the ability to cast resist sonic spell twice per day as a fourth level wizard. Morale bonus to constitution, that's, that's actually kind of interesting. So, ha having this weapon equipped would just give straight up give her 20 hit points. Huh. Um, Dexterity and Constitution. Nah, I'm not gonna do it, but that's actually a cool thing. You can actually give it to him, so he gets more con. Why not? I mean, only only Akundayo as a warden makes use of his constitution score as a as an advisor. He already has four here. Okay, the other thing was the herbalist. Keep. This cloak grants its wearer a plus four enhancement bonus to intelligence, a plus five competence bonus on all law nature checks, and the ability to cast a lay poison spell three times per day as a third level cleric. Oh. Now, she would lose the uh, stealth checks, but you know what? I don't care because not, she's not using stealth that much. She would get a bonus, a higher bonus to intelligence from this. So she wouldn't have to wear this. Then, we could actually have... Her wear this. Especially nice, because it also increases her stealth, her trickery and her mobility and knowledge arcana. And then we can take this helmet back from you and give it to Amiri. You already have a plus two here. Ah, uh, it's fine. And what's this? These boots grant their wearer the ability to make two additional attacks of opportunity per round. I don't know how good this is. I mean, this is a tax of opportunity, so it kind of doesn't matter. How about we give it to uh, a Mary? Yeah, I mean, that's that's fine. Oh, a tax of opportunity. Okay. For a second, there are two more sneak attacks. For, like, wh why? Are those limited? No, a tax of opportunity, not sneak attacks. So she can do three of them. Okay, that's fine. That's totally A-OK. -okay. I guess you can take the cape, you're, you're going to be better at sinking. Okay. 
Now, let me think. Let me think. Let me actually uh, take a take a look at the artisans, because... I'm confused. How do we... How do we... Uh, like, craft better stuff? Because I thought they were supposed to... Like, like the guy from the Camelons. Varask. He was supposed to give me like a obliterator. Can we can we take a look here? Yeah, he was supposed to reforge obliteration. So I'm not I'm not sure like why didn't I get this weapon? Also, uh Nazareel's weapon. We didn't get it. So I'm a little bit confused about why we didn't get it. Now, we have 5 days for this, 8 days for this, and 12 days for this. Uh, our projects are 2 week projects here. Like 40, 45 days projects here. Or like 20 days projects here. We do wanna... We don't wanna take too much time. What can we do? General, Counselor, High Priest. So we can get more Divine. We can get... Counselor is Tristian. We can get more Loyalty. We can get Military. I think I'm gonna do Military, because Loyalty or... Actually, no. Order Military or Divine. Let's go with Divine. And that's gonna finish all four of these. So hopefully... Hopefully all of these gonna be, are gonna be triumphs or successes. Seven sub... I mean, three of these is... Three of these is actually uh, the finished events. Four of these. Now, success, more stability, that's good. And also, another thing, he probably would talk to me about improving stability. Tri triumph, community and stability, that's very nice. Failure. Because she rolled a 5, she has to roll a 9. A triumph, relations and culture. Kundaya wants to talk to me. Temple for the people. What's an opportunity? Red light is a problem. We are going to load because we don't want to fail. Do the same thing. I'm fine with them not all being triumphs. I just don't want failures. That's a success. That's a triumph. That was a success. We got okay. That was a triumph. Okay. So, so that was two successes and two triumphs. Warden wants to talk. That's fine. It's still the same two problems, yeah? So let's see. Either Lindsay or the storyteller. Do we want more culture? We should be able to talk to him. He, I'm not really sure why he doesn't want to talk to me right now about improving culture. Oh, because it's uh, it's still one. So we probably still have a thing here. Okay. I guess we're going to have Lindsay here. Here, between economy 
and the vine. Between the two of them, we're gonna do Harem. Okay. 